the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 141, Psalms 1 to 2 and 4 to 9. Song and Praise Blessed is the man who lives according to the word of God, loves the word of God more than anything else, and meditates on it day and night. First point Psalm chapter 1 comprises the whole content of the Old Testament. In Psalm chapter 1, the psalmist sings of how blessed the life of the righteous is compared to the wicked. That is why those who read Psalms is blessed. Psalm chapter 1 emphasizes the importance of God's laws. Psalm chapter 1 is a prelude to the entire 150 Psalms and comprises the content of the Old Testament through praise and worship. Second point, God governs the entire universe. Psalm chapter 2 is called the Psalm for a King. This is because it sings of God the King and how God as King governs the world. Similar content can be found in Psalms chapters 16, 22, 24, 45, 72, and 110. Psalm chapter 2 praises the wonders of having God as our King. The psalmist truly praises the fact that God is our King. Blessed are all who take refuge in Him. We must live by enjoying God's laws and relying on God alone. Third point, David asked God the king to hear him. It is assumed that Psalms chapters 3, 4, and 5 were all written during the time of Absalom's coup d'etat. It is assumed that David wrote them whilst learning away from his son Absalom. Answer me when I call to you, my righteous God. David confessed that many around him enjoyed making false accusations and living without God. Some people even asked whether God actually exists. But David stood firm in his belief in God, offered the sacrifices of the righteous, and trust in the Lord. A righteous sacrifice contained not only the act, but also the heart of the one making the offering. My sacrifice, O God, is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart to you. God will not despise. David turned to God in the depths of his despair. In peace, I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. David experienced the countless circumstances of despair, but all throughout, he always turned to God for help. He knew that God was with him at all times. In Psalms chapters 4 and 5, David called God, My King, My God. Although David was learning away from his son, who wanted to take over his place, David was still the official king of Israel. But David called God his king and prayed to his king. Clearly, David knew that God was the ultimate king. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out from the yoke of the Egyptians. Fourth point, David confessed that his bones and even his spirits were shaking. Among the 150 psalms, seven are musical pieces. These include Psalms 6, 32, 38, 39, 51, 
130 and 143. Psalm chapter 6 was written by David, and here David knew that he had sinned and so repented most earnestly to God. David was shaking from the fear that God may leave him and desert him because of his sin. In Psalm chapter 7, David confessed that God is his refuge and furthermore praised God for his blessings. Fifth point, David praised God out loud, who created all things, including humans. Psalms chapters 8 and 9 are David's worship poems. David sang to God for his creation and thanked God for all of his wonders. It is as if David wanted to thank God for his work in Genesis chapters 1 and 2. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in the heavens. Through the praise of children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and stars, which you have set in place, what is mankind that you are mindful of them, human beings that you care for them? When God created humans, he molded us with clay and breathed life into our nostrils. How blessed are humans! David praised God for this wonder. Many, Lord my God, are the wonders you have done, the things you planned for us. None can compare with you. Were I to speak and tell of your deeds, they would be too many to declare. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this habit.